Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to use and set up Facetrack Now AR for War Thunder. First things first, we need to download uh, the program Facetrack Now AR. We can do that by going to the website facetracknowir.sourceforge.net and click download and then download the full installer. I already uh, downloaded it and installed it, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> So after you've installed it, you will have uh, Facetrack Now AR. And uh, hang on, let me just click this away. You will right-click it and run it as administrator, or at least I'll I do that because for some reason it's not picking up my webcam. If I'm uh, not doing that, it is doing that for another webcam which I'm using, but it's not using for the one which I want to use for this one. So after you've uh, downloaded it and started it up you will have uh, this screen right here. But uh, before we can do anything with it, we will need to install a, a DLL, which will make it so that uh, it, get rec it gets recognized by uh, Warfunder as a face tracking system. So what you need to do, and now I'm gonna refer to a forum post, which is gonna be linked in the description. You need to go to the website of uh, Facetrack, or uh, no, uh, to the website of uh, TrackIR and download the TrackIR software. In this thread, they will uh, uh, explain it to you step by step how to install and use uh, Facetrack, Now IR, TrackIR, and FreeTrack. So, all the three different options for face tracking for this game. So you go to the website of uh, TrackIR and download their uh, latest software for uh, their, <coughs> let me take a sip of my water, for their uh, track IR. So after you've done that, you need to install it. I've already done that, so I have track IR version five. And now I just need to find the DLL. The DLL is uh, located in the program files from on the disk you installed it on, under the tab natural point, under the tab track IR uh, track AR5. The DLL which you will need is the tierviews.dll. That's this one, it's located right in the right in the track AR5 folder. You just need to copy it and uh, paste it in the folder for your face track now IR, which is located in this map. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Inclusive. And then go to the face track now IR uh, folder and put it right in there. And you can close all of these tabs and now we're gonna use this uh, actual software first make sure uh, the game protocol is free track 2.0 and then go to settings locate DLL and then you need to select the tier views DLL and then uh, click open then you're gonna say uh, use tier views and then you're gonna click OK now I'm just gonna show off uh, my basic settings. I'm just gonna use the Excel filter Mark II and uh, Tracker Source Face API. I can't show it in game because for some reason when I try to record uh, this stuff whilst in game and alt tabbing all the time, it will only record one of the two. So that's kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna show you outside of the game how I'm setting it up. Okay, so first things first, you'll click start. Okay, is it? tracking my face properly no it's not sometimes you have to do it a couple of times because the lighting changes in your room and sometimes it will just track the wrong source so okay there we go there we go that seems like the correct uh, tracking source you can see if it's tracking the correct thing by looking at uh, where the eyes are and the circles and you can see like how it's tracking by looking at uh, yellow lines on the screen. So I'm gonna set my smoothing to about 20. And then the second thing which I'm gonna do for Warfunder, you will need the pitch inverted and the X, Y, Z and the roll axis. We're not gonna use those because uh, the problem with those are uh, we're using uh, a cam tracking device, so it's tracking my face, not something stable such as uh, infrared LEDs. So we're just gonna disable all of those 
and we can do that by doing the following click uh, curves I'm just gonna put everything back to what it used to be so everything used to be like this and then I'm gonna explain what everything does okay uh, sorry this was like this and like this and like this so first of all I'm just gonna disable the rule because uh, if I would click this away for a sec and I would turn my head the rule makes it so that everything goes weird and sometimes it will just break your face track so I'm gonna disable the rule by making the input uh, the input degree very high and the output degree very low so pretty much put everything in the bottom right corner of this box and then uh, we're gonna go to translations. I already did as this for translations, so that's that used to be uh, like this, and then I just made the input degree very low, and output uh, sorry the input degree very high and the output degree very low. So put everything in the bottom left corner, which will make it so that it disables the x, y, and z axes. Okay, the next thing which I did is. I uh, went to the yaw settings and made made it so that I don't have to turn my head uh, 50 degrees. I only have to turn my head 25 degrees. So I'm just going to click OK. So look at this uh, box over here and the face above it. So if I turn my head like this, and whoop, sorry, this is about the furthest I can go. And now my head is completely turned. So in game, my head is going to be completely turned, even though I can still look at the screen. That's a nice thing. And I'm gonna make sure that I have some sort of uh, dead center. So I'm just gonna, like, it's a really small, it's a really small thing. But if you give it, like, three degrees uh, input yaw, it will make it so that uh, the output uh, degrees is gonna be zero for a couple of degrees, which is nice. So you can. So if you're trying to aim for the center and you're looking at the center, you will have some some room to play in. And the same thing I'm doing for the pitch up and down. So that's the bottom ball and like this. For the pitch up, there's a, a maximum amount of pitch up, which I can't really show you, but I'm pretty sure it's about, it was somewhere about, here ish there was somewhere around the maximum for that or was it 80 I, I'm not entirely sure I think it was okay this is probably the maximum up and for pitch down it's somewhere around here because you can't pitch down too far so this is pretty much my settings for War Thunder just gonna click OK for now I'm just gonna stop this for a second use my preset that was this uh, test thing A. Because I find this is uh, one which I already fine tuned, so. Let me just take a look at those curves. Yeah, that's correct. It was about 80 degrees for this, and a little bit more apparently for this one. But as you can see, it's all pretty much the same. So after you've set that up, if you want, want to do one more thing, let's go to keyboard and mouse shortcuts. And I use for center home and for start and stop delete and what center does if I want to center centrate the screen so if I feel like okay I'm looking at the center of the screen right now I want to make it center I press home and now uh, my guy will be looking straight forward to the center center of uh, the screen pretty much and if I'm like okay my uh, face tracking is uh, messing up or it's not working at the moment oh my god what is going on with my sink <laughs> uh, press end and it will uh, stop the tracking if everything's alright hang on I set it I need to set it to end that's my sink that means that someone else is doing the dishes and flushing stuff don't ask me why. Don't judge me, I live in an apartment. <laughs> I wish I live in a fucking room. So now I'm just gonna stop the recording and I'm gonna start up War Thunder and show you uh, what the effects are. 
Okay, so now we are in game and we're gonna go to uh, test flight. Just gonna pick my XP 50 because fuck yeah, XP 50. And go to full real battles and be like, yay. <clears throat> Excuse me whilst I'm sipping my water. <laughs> Commentating is hard. For your throat. Okay, so now we are in game. And I've already noticed that I've stopped my face tracking. But before we can face track anyways, we need to check something in the... What is it? The controls? Oh uh, no, it's in the options somewhere. Give me a sec, it is somewhere in here. Um, where is it? Where is it? It's in the controls probably. Then we go to full aircraft controls and it has to be somewhere. Few controls I think. There we go. Um, things like uh, you zoom with head tracking, you can turn that on and off. Um, relative camera movement on head view. I think you have to turn something like that on, at least there's something in here which you need to check uh, which allows you to use uh, free track. I'm not entirely sure where it is but sometimes it will do it uh, automatically so let me all tap for a sec and start my free track. Okay, come on track. Okay, now it's tracking. There we go. Go back into the game. So, okay, I'm gonna look at the center of the screen. Then I'm gonna center. And I can just look around by turning my head. So the nice thing is I can look around in my cockpit. I can see if something is damaged on my wing or what the hell is going on. So, now I can just press st engine start. Uh, this is, by the way, the nice thing of a twin engine uh, airplane. Uh, the What's it called? There's no torque because uh, the propellers are uh, counter-rotating. So I can just uh, press full throttle without uh, tumbling over. And then I'm just gonna pull up slightly. And I'm not using my takeoff flaps, but who cares. Okay, gear up. And in a second I'm gonna demonstrate to you what the point is of using this uh, free tracking system. Because some people are like, okay, that's nice, you can look around with your head, but what's the point of going through all this trouble? Well, it's quite easy to explain. Okay, to my left there is a aircraft hangar, and I just want to destroy that. But let's say the hangar is moving at a very sp fast speed, and I am turning. By the time I've turned, I wouldn't have been able to see where it went, so now I can just turn and look where it is without losing track of it. Which allows me to uh, be very accurate in my turn and uh, very accurate with my shots. No more guesstimating on where the enemy is at. That's, that's one of the nicest things about it. Also when you're dogfighting and, and you're trying to uh, chase someone and he's going up like you can just look after him where he's going maybe he's doing some sort of maneuver which you uh, weren't expecting whilst you were looking straight forward so that's a nice thing of free tracking or uh, face tracking you can just look around you and track what's going on for instance um, no where is the target there's a target always somewhere over here let me check my map Okay, it's somewhere behind me, so I can just look behind me without having to turn my aircraft or holding C, and I can just turn around and start scanning for it whilst I'm in my turn. So, I think I see him, yeah, that's, that's the target. Whoa, don't pull too hard. So I, could, so I was able to track my target whilst in a turn, which is quite kind of nice. Uh, 
Now if I could only hit it, that's that's that, that would be nice. <laughs> Sometimes it is a little bit confusing because you're looking behind you like how your controls are working, but it's a lot easier with a joystick, trust me. I'm just doing it with the mouse thing because some people will be using a mouse and be like, oh, you can't play for real battles with a mouse because it's impossible. Which apparently it is. Oh, God. <laughs> that was the worst attack run ever. <laughs> You can clearly see it's quite doable by using a mouse, especially in combination with free track. So we're just gonna do an attack run, and then we're gonna call it today. Uh, ah well, I give up. You want today, you stupid old card. So um, that's it for now. I hope this was useful to you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And uh, if you want to see more of this stuff and you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. That's it for now. Uh, have a good one and goodbye.